Thank you for joining us today for Game Plan for Senior Care. Today we're going to talk about creative communication. As a caregiver, it's very important for us to say and do whatever we have to in that moment to keep our loved one calm, happy, and safe. This can be a difficult subject because it's really hard to change the way that we communicate with our loved one. When my mother was first diagnosed, I called the nurse and one of the most important things she said to me is, you'll learn to be a good liar. And I thought to myself, what does she mean by that? I, I don't understand it. Well, it didn't take too long before I began to understand what the nurse was saying. My mother was one of these people that understood there was something wrong with her well into the disease. And she would ask me every day, what's wrong with me? She would cry and I would cry. Back in the 90s, when my mother developed Alzheimer's disease, they just couldn't diagnose it like they can today. So they tended to tell you that they had had a stroke and it affected their short-term memory. So when my mother was diagnosed, we just continued with that diagnosis. So when she would ask me, that's what we would tell her, that she'd had a stroke and it affected her short-term memory. So when my mother was finally diagnosed, we just continued on with the fact that she had had stroke. We never told her that she had Alzheimer's disease. Well, it was very disturbing to her. She knew there was something wrong. And so she asked me every day, what's wrong with me? She would cry and I would cry. So I would say to her, well, BB, you had a stroke and it affected your short-term memory. Who cares if you can't remember a few things? I can't remember what I did yesterday, but you're beautiful and you're healthy. And then one day I said, to her and you know what BB you're taking this medicine and you're getting better every day and I went oh my gosh I just lied to my mom but my mom turned to me and she said oh thank you and she quit crying and I thought it worked I feel like that it's okay to be creative and to give them hope giving them hope is so important because it's positive it's very important when you're being creative in your communication to use examples that are real. The good thing is, is you know your loved one's likes, you know their dislikes, you know their background. So use those things when you're being creative. So another example on my mother, one night we're sitting in her bedroom and we're in her house, and I'm living with her at this point, and she looked at me and she said, does, does, does my mom know that I'm here? But when I looked at her, I could see how frightened she was. And, and so I said to her, I said, well, yes, BB, your mom called about 30 minutes ago. And she said that she has to work late tonight and she wants you to spend the night with me. Isn't that great? We're gonna have so much fun. We're gonna watch a movie and eat some popcorn and, and drink a milkshake. And, and we're gonna have a wonderful time. And she was standing back there kind of looking at me like, I'm not really sure I believe you. But because my body language was positive and my, I had a smile on my face, she went with me. You will learn through this that when you're creative and you're positive, they will generally go with you. Now, if I had said to my mother, well, BB, your mom died 20 years ago, she would have gone, what? She died? And then she would have relived the whole experience. So as hard as it is on us, it's even harder on them. So that's why it's so important for us to be creative in our communication. Being creative in your communication is hard. It's very difficult to get started, but I assure you that as you do it, it becomes easier and easier and easier. It's so important to me to be creative in your communication because it's gonna make your life better and your loved one. Because after all, that is our goal, is to keep our loved one calm, happy, and safe. Thank you for joining us today for Game Plan. We're gonna make forward progress every day. We're gonna learn more about this disease and how you care for it, and we're gonna do it together. Thank you.